Well, one of the premises of the SR20, for example, and that hopefully Anlium Instruments uses a, a very similar or nearly identical interface, was to be able to give the operator a better indication of what they were dealing with. In other words, with a single sort of paddle swing type locator where you're just doing peak locating, it is really very difficult, if almost impossible, to get a sense of whether you, you have a high integrity, whether you have a good signal, whether you have a, an undistorted locate. You have to stop, you know, the, the making the signal round concept where you do lift it up and do the depth or, or do comparisons between how it behaves left and right <coughs> to, at a certain distance, so you're getting the same signal strength here. Um, wherein with the, with the SR20, we had a, a line indicator and then you have the ability to look at peak signal by looking at how the, the you know, just looking at the, the, the amplitude number, the signal strength number, <clears throat> as well as I, I think a really key feature of the SR20 was to combine that also with a gradient measurement, the arrows measurement, which was really pioneered by the Metrotech A10. And um, I don't know if anyone else did that prior to that, but <clears throat> that was a really, a, I think, a brilliant, brilliant move that Peterman did. And my experience has been that the gradient, <coughs> the gradient balance, the place where <coughs> the, the field is changing the same in both directions, you've, you've reached a point where <coughs> the antenna on the left and the antenna on the right, when you place them over the line, and they have to be oriented um, to get um, a good measurement. They can be a little off, but you, you don't get any signal if they're nulled. If you turn them 90 degrees, you're nulled. That measurement in congested, distorted field conditions will give you the best answer compared to peak locating and also compared to null locating. Our, the line that we display in the middle is very much like the null line. It's the place where, where essentially the field goes perfectly horizontal relative to the antenna rays, which is the same as being nulled if you have a vertical antenna. Um, and the null me measurement, in my opinion, is most sensitive to distortion. Um, the peak method is the next best method. So, um, and then the, um, the gradient arrows, the gradient balance is really the very best. And so we try to provide a, a set of those. Um, the other thing we did is we looked at the difference between the top antenna and the bottom antenna. And depending on how those signals are rotated, if those were twisted at all with respect to each other, because oftentimes when you have distortion in the ground, you get some difference between either the position of the top thing or the top, the measurement, the field at the top can either be shifted to one side so it's not round, it's tilted, and you can pick up the distortion that way, or if it's twisted, you can also pick up the distortion. So we did a, a mixture of twisting the field and offsetting the field, and we present that to the user as a sort of a fuzzier, blurrier, we even put some static into the sound, really to, 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 to show people that you, you really can't, there's a sort of this thought that you can, you always, always should be able to locate perfectly. The, the, <laughs> the marking laws suggest that in all paces, the paint, there's a presumption that with the right instrument and the right paint, you can always put paint on the ground in the right place. I see these people, they, they really want to, they want to put the cut in point right next to the transformer. Okay, they come up six inches from the transformer um, and you can, you can have an instrument fool you that you can actually do that, but in reality, you can almost never do that, particularly if you're doing, um, 60 hertz tracing when you get up next to that transformer everything's twisted around and you know within 10 feet of that transformer you're starting to get more and more uncertain and I think you really want to indicate uncertainty um, you, you want to indicate you really want to know whether you know where it is or not and in many cases you really know where it is and you really know how deep it is within a reasonable margin of error but in many cases you don't and and I think if, if you don't, you're probably not doing anybody any good suggesting that you know more than you do. And you know, in many cases, the marks are just not believable. I do a lot of instrument testing where I walk around. I've probably walked 250 miles in the last six months carrying locators. And you look at other people's paint and you hook up to a gas line. And it is surprising how often the paint is wrong. The paint is wrong a lot 